People of Reddit, are you aware of the YouTube channels who take screenshots of popular Reddit posts? Put a text-to-speech voiceover on them and get millions of views. If so, what are your opinions on them? I had no idea this was a thing until I got a PM from someone who had seen a post I made on one of those videos and asked me if I knew about it. I was a bit nonplussed. But on the other hand, it's not like Reddit is a private forum, either. I got a PM from someone who had seen an old comment of mine on one of those videos and thought they might know me IRL. They used a throwaway for the PM and I still have no idea who they were. Wasn't particularly pleasant. Were you nonplussed? I was we plussed. My roommate listens to them every day. And he will undoubtedly listen to this one when it is uploaded. He also conveniently goes by his first initial. So he'll say hi, T, if you hear this, it's your turn to take out the trash. I am also here to say hi T. I hate tea, but I love coffee. You take that back right now or the entire commonwealth will descend upon you. They've slowly downgraded in question quality to something like what is your NSFW La Sexy accident involving La Sexy sex. They add anime girls in the picture too, mostly in lewd positions or clothing. Big and Ronpa sub was pissed for a bit. Out of the loop on that. What happened? They don't affect my life in any way. I keep imagining this being read by the robot and it sounds funny. Op runs one of these channels and wanted some fun with this thread. Arc conspiracy. Some of them are good and have nice reactions but mostly it's stupid. Edit. However a lot of people don't use Reddit and maybe that bring them to us. That's actually the reason I'm here. Stop looking at text-to-speech but I still look sometimes to the human ones when I'm not in the mood of Reading. Yeah, the people who do actual voiceovers find the best posts. It's not that they're the best posts. It's just the fact they put more effort and do funny voiceovers rather than pump out tons of text-to-speech crap for YouTube money. Sorrow TV does it pretty well emo. The others with just text-to-speech voices are a different story. And I enjoy Suit House. E-A-T-P-A-N-T. -A I consist on diet of pant. I like Reddit aliens sounds like a real person and he normally covers out their topics. Microsoft American Mail TTS try me. The text-to-speech ones are so annoying. The humans who spend a couple of hours making quality content are good though. Yeah the voice always makes TLDR sound like TL Doctor. That voice made me hate the word popcorn. I've listened to ones about movie theater employees of Reddit or Reddit posts about bad dates where some of them went to the movies. I heard that word so many times and the voice emphasized the first P and the C so sharply that it made me almost rage. I asked if they wanted popcorn. They said no butter on their popcorn. I told them our popcorn was pre-buttered so if they wanted popcorn without butter they had to wait for a new batch of popcorn. 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 Ah, exploding head. Popcorn. I found out about Reddit from those videos. I hate the text-to-speech auto voice though. I hate that voice in all applications. We're at the point where the device in your pocket can record audio far easier than making a computer do it, and still have better listening quality. Don't be lazy and put some effort behind the videos if you want us to watch them. Else don't bother. I mean it's the same as us taking screenshots of tweets and posting them here I guess. Except you're not getting paid. People get paid for that? For views, yeah. You, recap a Reddit. Watch a recap of this thread here. Oh fuck the TL, doctor sounding like TL doctor. I burst out laughing. 
through. I have a reading disorder so they help on that side. I'm able to just put them on in the background while I play a video game. It's nice. I only really like the text-to-speech ones though because the ones with people reading it try to give an extra flair that they don't need since I'm really just in it for the content of the Reddit post. I do dislike how they make so much money off of them though for so little effort. One YouTuber's videos. One topic at a time. Actually got me to recently check out Reddit so I'm perfectly fine with them. Give me a name. His channel is called One Topic at a Time. God damn it you got me, have my upvote. I listen to them when I'm driving. Screen off. Of course. I work a regular job and have my own business in the side plus I am working on my bachelor's degree. I don't have time to be on Reddit unless I'm pooping. Spoilers. Driving. Screen off. Or while eating on my lunch to fill the silence. I kinda wish I could listen to fanfics in a similar way. But the robo voice would ruin any sort of atmosphere. Look for people in your fandoms doing podfics. Which is a real person reading. Not text to speech. They're becoming more common and they're usually pretty good. A few are great. Shao Taudar, Suit House, Sorrow TV, Marshall Da Stuff, but their thing is less dependent on the posts than the jokes that get spun off them. The ones that just read the posts. Or worse, the fucking TTS aren't worth my time. All I have to say is, hi YouTube. I literally joined Reddit because those stories interested me. Me too, I listen to them at work. Me too. I joined because my dumb ass wanted to share a story in a post where you couldn't comment anymore. I fucking hate those voices. It's lazy, low quality content. Exactly what people love on YouTube. I really have a deep hate for them. They just take someone else's work, post, lazily put a text to speech and boom, viral, money. They get money for doing absolutely nothing. They're not content creators. They are content thieves. Subscribe for more hot Reddit takes in your inbox. Guaranteed.